All right, hosses, welcome back to Video Nightmare. We're talking about section 2.1, and we're back on derivatives, and specifically, we're going to talk about estimating derivatives from a table. So here's the thing, dudes. We're going to continue on with that tangent line theme we talked about before, which is basically slope. So remember, central idea is that derivative equals slope. But we're going to talk about the best way you can get your derivative approximation using a table. So, of course, uh, you've got some really dumb joke. Look, here's a person standing on a table trying to estimate the number of derivatives he sees. This is not funny, people. This is, in fact, a tragedy. And if you even chuckled at this, you're a bad person. Now, let's move on to the actual math. And here's what we're talking about. Maybe f of x has some values given by blah, blah, blah. Look, I got a table. Woo-hoo. And we want to estimate f prime of 2. So remember, the concept is that f is some curvy function thingy. Um, maybe it looks like wah, meh, curvy function thingy. Here's the point 2. There's a tangent line at 2, which moves right along with the function. And we're trying to estimate the slope of that. This slope is exactly what we mean by f prime of 2. So we're trying to estimate that slope. and because that's what we're trying to go for, we're going to estimate that by computing the slope. So let's start off by finding average slope, or uh, I guess we can just say slope. Same thing as average rate of change. We're going to find the slope um, between x equals 2 and then the next closest point to the right. So we'll say x equals 4. That's the first thing we're going to do. But now here's the thing, dudes. There's nothing really special about starting at 2 and moving to the right. We could also start at 2 and move to the left. So that's the next thing we're going to do. We're also going to find slope from, and now let's go from x equals 0 to x equals 2. Basically, in step one, we move one to the right. In step two, we move one to the left. We find these slopes. And then the last thing that we're going to do is average those two numbers together. And that's exactly what you do to estimate your derivative using a table. So let's actually go ahead and do this for f prime of 2. Um, step 1 says the slope from x equals 2 to x equals 4. So that's going to be the change in y divided by the change in x. And that's a half. Um, OK, wait, so let's say this equals 1 half. All right, next thing we're going to do is the exact same deal, but now between 0 and 2. Um, between 0 and 2, we're looking at these points here. And so um, I need more room. Uh, 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 wait for it. It's going to be good. I'm going to do this thing. No, that's not what I meant. Crap, crap, crap. Wait, I'm going to do it again. Haha, mm, <laughs> victory. OK, so for step two, here's what we're doing. The slope from 0 to 2 is going to look like the difference in y values divided by the difference in x values. And from that, we just get 1. So step one, we got a half. Step two, we got 1. And now for step three, we're just going to average those two numbers together. So this is going to be 1 half plus 1 divided by 2. And that ends up being 3 over 4, people. Bam. 3 over 4 is the best approximation you can give to the derivative of the function with values in this table at the point 2. Woo, doo -doo -doo -doo. OK, so one more time. You estimate it from the right. You estimate it from the left. You average those puppies together. Now, if you are asked to estimate the derivative at a point where you can't always go to the right and the left, then you only stick with the one that you know how to do. So for example, let's say we're asked to estimate f prime of 6. Go back up to the table. We're going to look at x value 6. And x value 6 is, of course, right here. We can move to the left, but we can't move to the right. So we can do step 2, but we cannot do step 1. That's OK. We'll just not do step 1 in this case. So we're going to use the normal slope thing, just going from 4 to 6. And here's what we're going to get. Change in y is 9 minus 6. Change in x is going to be from 6 to 4. And so we get 3 halves. That's going from the original point to the left. We can't go to one step to the right, so we just stick with that number that we have. 
All right, dudes, that's it for estimating derivatives from a table, and I will see you in the glorious future.